Good morning and welcome to The Dog Show, your source for the latest Empire news and sports. I'm your host, Mace Monty. And I'm Ava Boozer. Welcome back for after Thanksgiving break. Now it's the countdown to Christmas. And Empire is getting into the holiday spirit. We started Monday with Christmas music in the halls and had other fun activities like hot chocolate and donuts and hidden candy canes throughout the school. The 12 days of Christmas continue until December 13th. For those interested in being a virtual student in the second semester, there was a parent-student meeting this past Tuesday, and our reporter, LB10, talked with Ms. Kaus about the meetings. Thanks, guys. Today I'm here with Mrs. Kaus to talk about the upcoming parent-student virtual meeting. Ms. Kaus, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, what is the purpose of this virtual meeting? So, any students, grades 6 through 12, that are interested in going virtual next semester, which means, you know, learning virtually, um, is what these meetings are for. So if for some reason parents and students miss this week's meeting, what can they do? So we are actually offering three different meeting dates. Um, if you want to go virtual next semester, you only have to make one of them. But those meeting dates are tonight at 6, obviously, yeah. um, December 7th at 5.30, and December 14th at 5.30. And all of those meetings are in the library. Okay. What, if anything, do parents and students need to bring to the meeting? Uh, nothing. They just that we have to have the student themselves, and we have to also have their parent. Uh, just one parent is fine, but I do. We do have to have both because they mm -hmm. both have to sign a contract. Yeah. Thanks, Miss Kaus. And now back to you in Dog Show Studios. The FFA and Stuka are teaming up for a toy drive that started yesterday. Bring a new toy to donate to those in need, and the toy drive will end on December 14th. Before we take a look at what's going on in the elementary and the Bulldog broadcast, here's a look at this week's Empire Multiverse. Anyways, I just... Mm. Oh, sorry guys, didn't see you there. Thanks, and welcome to the EMP Multiverse, where every couple of weeks we tell you what's going on with our different social media platforms. Since we were just off of Thanksgiving break, we don't really have much to talk about, like, in the moment, much to talk about. But some things that are cooking up in the lab are TikTok crews brainstorming the new viral TikTok. We have recently got one that nearly has 50,000 views, which is a lot for... Which is a lot. Like, really a lot. Our Crazy State crew and Bulldog Beat. That's a new one. Bulldog Beat crew are working away at their next episodes. You can always check out the News from the Hill live every day around 9.15 or 9.30. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And the Bulldog Book Talk every Monday or Tuesday. Our EMP Dogcast every Monday. And, of course, our flagship show. The Dog Show every Friday, which you're watching right now. And hey, it's not multiverse swag, but it's dog show swag. The Coach K has me, which will work for now. Anyways, I gotta get back to my phone call. Kennedy out. Here's a look at this week's prize pubs, along with the first person this school year to hit the million word ball milestone. Are you ready yet? Okay. My name is Gavin Mock, and I got an award for um, 660,000 words. My name is Bada Johnson, and I got an award for doing a second grade test and getting um, a 100 on it. My name is Brandon, and I had 60,000 words. I'm Emma, and I have an 80,000 word. Award is new, and I got 40,000 words read. I got 20,000 words, and my name is Sawyer. Hi, my name is Austin, and I got the reward for reading. Hi, my name is Hayes. I completed the edition, and I got an award. My name is Briar, and I got 200,000 words. My name is Lucas, and I got 300,000 words. My name is Kellen, and I got 300,000 words. My name's Merrick, and I got a half a million words. My name is Bristol Jackson. I got this award for reading over 100,000 words. <laughs> My name is Carson Hill, and I got an award for reading 400,000 words. Hello, my name is Dylan, and I got an award for reading over 4,000 words. Hi, my name is Cree Thornton, and I got over 60,000 words. My name is Suzanne, and I got 100,000 words. My name is Colson Childress and I got an award for 160,000 words. 
My name is Jameson Ashford and I got a award for 120,000 words. My name is Jackson Powers and I got a award for 100,000 words. My name is Trevor Powers and I got over 100 and 200 words. I don't know. It's 200. I'm Grace Hankins and I got a award for reading 800,000 words and a award for passing subtraction and extra math. My name is Connor Pittman and I got an award for passing multiplication and extra math and hitting 200,000 words. My name is Lucas and I got this award for division. Hey, my name is Heisman Hayes and I got an award for 100, reading 100,000 words. My name is Leighton and I got an award for finishing the dish in extra math. Hi, my name is Micah and I got an award for 100,000 words. Hi, my name is Kami and I got an award for reading 200,000 words. Hi, my name is Ada and I have 400,000 words. Hi, my name is Lainey, I got 200,000 words. Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm here with Grace Hankins. Grace is here and we are going to celebrate her for being the first person this year to make the million word wall. Grace is a fourth grader and she has already read a million words and we're not even to Christmas yet. So if you happen to see Grace in the hallways in the cafeteria, be sure and congratulate her because that is quite an accomplishment. So congratulations, Grace. Good job and keep reading. Every week we want to recognize elementary students that are in different classroom achievements. Keep up the good work. There is a 4-H meeting on Tuesday in the library and coming up before you know it will be the annual elementary Christmas program. And finally, in the library you can always go check out a book and I bet Philbert will soon be getting the Christmas spirit as well. Before we take a look at Bulldog Sports, here's a look at your forecast. Basketball, wrestling, basketball, wrestling. Choices of viewing for the Blog Nation fan base this winter sports season. Both the middle school and high school wrestling and basketball teams have been in full swing since before Thanksgiving break, with both groups having successful starts to their seasons. The high school wrestlers went to a tournament at Southmore over Thanksgiving break and competed well for their first competition in 13 years. The high school basketball team started their season this Tuesday at home against Apache. The girls won in convincing fashion and the boys came up a little short against one of the best teams in Class A basketball. Both teams are back on the court tonight at Rush Springs starting at 6.30. Our sports reporter TK caught up with Coach Powers and Coach Hill about the upcoming season. I'm here today with the girls basketball coach, Coach Powers. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. What can the Bulldog Nation look forward to this season? This season um, is going to be an exciting season. Um, the Bulldog Nation can look uh, forward to seeing a group of girls that are excited to get this season kicked off. We're excited about um, the possibilities and um, what lies in front of us. We pride ourselves on tough defense and um, so you're going to see tough defense and and we plan for an explosive offense so it should be a fun fun year. Can't wait. Thanks coach. I also talked with the boys coach Coach Hill about this year's expectations. Well, we have high expectations. We have a really uh, talented young group, and you know we got one senior who we expect to have a lot of leadership from, and you know our young guys play a lot of basketball, and so the expectations are high. And we've had uh, past couple of years where we just want to continue to keep growing, and uh, uh, nothing short of that. We want to keep uh, pushing in the right direction. There you have it. The Bulldog basketball teams are ready to roll and have a successful season. I'm TK. Now back to you on the Dog Show Studios. Nice shot, TK. That's the link for your week of Bulldog Sports. Now back to you in the Dog Show Studios. Thanks for that sports report. That's all the time we have for the Dog Show. Before we go, we wanted to leave you with you with something to get you into the Christmas spirit. We will see you back here next week, and don't forget, Christmas break is just two weeks from today. Have a great weekend, and be excellent to each other, Empire. Deuces, Empire.